Ben here, and we're just going to spend a little bit of time talking about racks. At Stella, we believe the best way to carry a boat is probably upside down. This is because the rails of a boat are the strongest point right here. So with a decent rack span, you can get a very solid attachment. Whenever you travel with the boat on top of the car, you should really tie it down at four points. Front, middle, middle, and the back. That way uh, there's less stress on the boat, there's less stress on the car, and there's less stress on you. And when I say the car, I mean the rack, because the chance of it coming off is very slim, and it also means all the people around you are much safer. A couple of other things that I think are really important to think about is if you run the foot pegs up against whatever brace you have up there, whether it be the bar or your rack mounts or whatever they are, and then I push the boat back against that, that keeps those rudder lines nice and tight. If those rudder lines are nice and tight when you tie the boat down, now the rudder can't wiggle in the air as you drive at 70 miles an hour, which cuts down a lot of wear and tear of all your rudder pieces. Super important when you go to the bow of the boat, go around the whole boat. Don't put all the pressure right here. We're gonna go around to the boat on the other side right now, which is not tied on, but it'll give you another idea for how you might secure the rudder line. At the front right here, you can see I've used a foam pad, which I've cut to fit the rack nicely, so it sits nice and flat, and the pedals are up against the foam therefore locking them in place. This boat has an overstern rudder, so I can show you another little trick that I play with quite a bit. When traveling down the highway with the overstern rudder, I like to attach a bungee to the rudder. This way, the rudder can move a little bit, so there's no real stress on it, but it also stops it being able to rotate so it can't fall out. Super easy to install, super easy to uninstall couple of little tricks there on how to carry a boat. I should mention one more thing. Try and keep the rack off the hatch. Most of our boats behind the seat have a nice stringer that's a support through the deck to the hull. That keeps the boat super strong there. Therefore, having a nice padded rack onto that section spreads the load evenly. When the boats are upside down, the straps then act evenly all over the hull of the boat. When the boats are the other way up and it's sitting in some rack, you have point pressure on the boat. Hulls are not designed for point pressure. Hulls are designed for even pressure all over by the water. So a couple of things to get you thinking about traveling with your kayaks. Please think about bow lines, stir lines, especially keep the boats nice and safe on the road. Thank you very much.